It's Sunday morning. Thank you so much for joining us here for our Hokey video blog. Hope you're having a good morning so far. We've got some slick roadways to contend with across wave country this morning. Had multiple reports of slide-offs and accidents and things going on that are not positive for folks out there wanting to get around on area roads. Let's talk about what we're experiencing right now with our SkyTrack network of cameras. It's telling the story, especially for folks down in E-Town. You'll see in Jeffersonville, things not looking too bad, but you'll see in Bardstown, well, they've got snow-covered roads there from a burst of snow that went through. Paoli, they love the snow, don't they? South Louisville, you're not seeing much snow there. Snow's on the ground, but not falling. Shepherdsville got a little bit of snow on the street there, but it's not looking too bad. Same story in Starlight at the moment. But check this out as we go into portions of E-Town. My goodness, look at that snow on the roadway there. You can see that very well. Burst of snow went through there. It's the same one that went through Bardstown. And folks are reporting some slick roads down that way. So be very careful if you're out and about. Had some reports of cars in ditches in Orange County, Indiana. Now, while we haven't seen all that much snow this morning, what happened is is that we saw a little bit of snow overnight. Some of it turned into water on the roadways. Then as temperatures dropped into the 20s, especially across portions of southern Indiana and northern Kentucky here, we had those roads freeze. So we've got lots of reports of black ice. Just not a good situation out there. So take it easy, take it slow. Right now, as of this recording, it's about 8.55. We've got snow showers to the east of Louisville, some heavier snow down toward Washington County, Kentucky, and then this little booger up here from Indy on the way down to Vincennes, Indiana. That snow band right there is going to be pushing into portions of Lawrence, Jackson, and Jennings counties. This is actually dissipating somewhat as it's moving on eastward. So that's good news there. We won't see quite as much snow from that for you folks up there. But really, the main threat this morning is going to be any of the water on those roadways freezing because of those cold temperatures that we have across the area. All right, now that we've gotten through that, we need to talk about tonight. We've got another one of these little, almost advisory level snow events that's going to be moving on through, giving us uh, an accumulation of snow in places, but not much of it. Here it is out here. This thing has really blossomed over the last three, four hours in Nebraska. We've seen this move east a considerable amount as well. It's all associated with an upper level disturbance that's going to be trekking on southeastward into Kentucky as we go throughout this evening. Let's take you on through. Our current temperatures, though, 30 degrees here in Louisville, 25 in Salem, 24 in Bedford. This is certainly cold enough to support snow here at the surface in those aforementioned slick roads. As we go throughout the day, we don't really see these temperatures recover much above freezing. Futurecast gets it to 35, but realistically, with the cloud cover that we have, it might be a hard bet to do that. I went 32 for my high temperature this afternoon here in Louisville. We'll see how that works out. Clouds stick around as we go throughout the afternoon hours. Then here comes the snow. You see that snow band off to the south. The RPM has been struggling with this snow band this morning. It does not know what to do with it. Early this morning, I came in. When did I come in? About 3 o'clock. And the snow band was pretty much here and southward. Now it is putting the snow band about here. In an earlier run that I showed during our newscasts, put the line about there and then southward in terms of where this snow band was going to set up. The NAM model thinks the snow band is going to set up somewhere like that right there. All right, so pretty much Louisville to Lexington on I-64. And then, <coughs> excuse me, we still get this one inch or so of snow accumulation in this main band right here. That seems pretty feasible to me. Uh, GFS is going on that route too, although we really don't look to the GFS front mounts at this distance. The placement is something that uh, we do look at it for just to kind of get a glimpse of what it's thinking. Then by tonight, whoo, yeah, those temperatures drop, don't they? Into the teens in most spots, especially if we clear out some of this cloud cover. By early in the morning, we might see a little cooler than that in some places. See that 7 and see more. That might be overdoing it a little bit, but you get the idea. But the interesting part about tomorrow morning is we may still have some flurries and snow showers very early in the morning to deal with. That could slicken up roads. I think that'll be out of here somewhere near 8 o'clock in the morning, maybe even before that. So if we can avoid a problem with the morning rush, that would be great, wouldn't it? We'll keep track of that as we go throughout the day. We have to really now cast this situation, especially because data is still squabbling over where this snow band's going to set up and how long it's going to stick around. Now, 
Here's our snow accumulation forecast, about an inch or so south of I-64. Areas outside of that, you, you may see snow. And we're talking about a dusting to a half inch, especially across portions of southern Indiana and then down here towards Adair County. But the main axis of this snow band looks like it's going to be trekking pretty much from E-Town to uh, looks like Washington County there in Danville in Kentucky. And anywhere, really, I'd say 50 miles north or south of that is where you could get some of those one-inch amounts. It's going to be a very thin snow band, and we're going to have to track to see if it goes north any or if it goes south any, and that can only be determined with the very short-range models like the high-resolution rapid refresh and radar trends. Both of those will be a very significant help as we go throughout the afternoon trying to track this thing as it comes in. Here's a timeline. If you're wanting a takeaway from this, here you go. Morning. We've got snow showers. We've got freezing drizzle. We need to add on there. We've got the slick roads as well. Not enough space to put that in, but certainly a very important thing to say. By afternoon, we're mainly dry. This evening, the snow breaks out along and south of I-64. Now, as we get the snow band out of here, what happens next? Not a whole lot. Thank goodness. Look what happens down in Mississippi, Alabama, toward Huntsville, on into just south of Knoxville, Tennessee. Places like Tupelo, Mississippi, Oxford, down into Greenville. Yes, I know my Mississippi geography. I spent four years there. But uh, down in this area here, this is where they're going to be seeing a winter storm as we go throughout the late Monday, early Tuesday time frame. This is a pretty rare event for them to see uh, snow like this, snow and ice, especially down there. I know when I lived in Mississippi for a while, any flake of snow was considered um, just a huge, big deal, you know, caused panic because... There's not a lot of snow plows or salt equipment down there, so that's a big problem. Anyway, the takeaway from this for us is that this was the storm that we were concerned about for our midweek, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The good news is that the high pressure up here is suppressing this storm to the south so much that I really don't think it has much of a chance of coming north and affecting us at this point. We were betting, or at least trying to figure out if the models were going to push this north like they, usually, like they usually do. They usually take storms to the south of us, then they push them north progressively over time as you get closer to the storm. This time, the high pressure, though, it's going to win out. It's going to be too strong, and it's going to suppress the area of low pressure to the south as we go through time. All right, so that just means we have mostly sunny skies, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies as we go throughout Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And it's not really until Thursday that we see another rain or snow chance enter into the forecast. We'll deal with that as we get closer to it, though. We'll see how that pans out. It's going to warm up, though, thank goodness, because look at how much snow we've already had this year. If we add another inch onto this, wow, 20.1 inches here in Louisville. Usually we get about 12.5 inches per season. So that is a pretty significant development in our season so far. So we could very well double the seasonal snowfall average by the time we're said and done. We still have 39 days of winter left, and that's plenty of time to get some more snow in. For a lot of folks, that's not good news, but for snow lovers, you've had quite the season already, and more might be coming. We'll see about that. I wanted to end now on your hokey weather fact of the day, and that's the fact that flights from west to east don't take as long thanks to the jet stream. So if you're flying from San Francisco to Washington, D.C., it's a lot shorter than flying from Washington, D.C. to San Francisco because those winds aloft, the jet stream, say, from 25,000 to 35, 40,000 feet, those winds are howling from west to east. The westerly is the predominant direction up there, and that helps to propel the airplane as opposed to when you're flying west. They oppose the motion of the airplane. It makes it harder and with less speed to make ground. Kind of an interesting fact. So remember that the next time you're booking a vacation, maybe you're booking a flight, and you see that the flight times are different from going west to going east. All right, folks, stay safe out there on the roads today, and we'll have updates on Facebook and Twitter. For now, I'm meteorologist Ryan Hoke. Have a great Sunday.